What's up guys, hanging out in the architectural shop. I have three different ways of removing mill scale here. Actually I have four. Four is garbage, we're not doing four. I'll show you real quick, but no four. The question is, which chemical is the best at stripping mill scale? Under this mysterious welding jacket, good old reliable, oh natural. White vinegar. Any takers, what do you guys think? Give me a vote down below in the comments. Right now, let me know what you guys think is gonna win here. Number two. Muratic acid, oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Get it at your local hardware store. Very dangerous, don't wanna mess with this stuff. And under door number three, bam, we have Pickle X20. If you guys are familiar with P&O, pickled and oiled steel, this might look pretty convincing. It's called pickled. That's how they get the mill scale off of the mill. So let's see which one of these three chemicals is gonna strip mill scale off the fastest. What is mill scale? Mill scale is, well, it happens at the mill, just like it says. It's a layer of scale on top of the metal. It's a lot like when you're welding stick or flux core, the slag that builds up. So while this is cooling at the mill, it kind of forms this oxide layer on the top that, believe it or not, actually helps prevent rust further down in the metal. But it's ugly, it gets chipped. If you're going to paint or powder coat, these little gouges and stuff in the mill scale, get really, really hard to feather out with a sander. So this is before it's been stripped. We'll show you over here. This is after. So this is all the mill scale removed. Oh, sorry, dirty hands. See that mill scale? Dirty. We don't want it. And it causes huge problems when you're TIG welding. I'll show you what we're building real quick. This is the high limit slot room for Hard Rock Casino. This is this big perimeter wall that goes around here. There's some memo boxes inside. And we are building these big, come on, paper. We're building all these wall sections. This is the radius here in the corner and each and every one of these propellers has been twisted. So this part we're trying to strip is this bottom one inch piece of bar stock right here that goes down and we've got to weld each one of these. Actually, why am I showing you here? Check this out. We got to weld each one of these with TIG to save us on grinding time to the bottom uh, on top of each one of these panels. We absolutely have to get the mill scale off. It just creates way more grinding, more time down the road. So we're gonna sacrifice a little time up front to save a lot more time. You guys wanna see option number four? This is big ass seven inch grinder with a really rough abrasive sanding pad here. Let's see what this does to the mill scale. See why I don't like option number four? Absolute hot garbage. The sandpaper is already getting gummed up and worn out, and we have removed almost nothing. <laughs> Here's our mill scale stripping setup. We've got three sections. I split them up with some saran wrap I had down here to kind of hopefully keep these separated, and then I lifted it up with some dunnage off of the bottom of the tank. We're also in a tank, we're dealing with acids, all kinds of real gross stuff we don't want on our concrete. Muratic acid will definitely strip, etch, deteriorate your concrete. I have no idea about that Pickle X stuff. Vinegar, I'm really not too worried about, but it's still really strong vinegar, so we're gonna take a little bit of precautions here. And I also have it off the bottom of the tank so that we don't get any mixing of chemicals. Let's go ahead and start spraying these down. Vinegar, muratic acid, and Pickle X 20. All right, we're gonna start out here with our vinegar. Get this nice and coated here. A little splash. Then I have this acid pump sprayer for our muriatic acid. We use it for all kinds of stuff around here. All right, and then our Pickle X90, which is actually green. So that's kind of cool, pickly. Oh! <laughs> okay, there's some weird chemistry going on in there. You do not want to take a hit off of that thing, because yoosh! Now it's a big waiting game. The whole point of this is that you can spray this stuff down and the chemicals will strip it for you, so you don't have to do it actively with a grinder. 
That frees you up in the shop to go do other activities while this stuff is cooking in here. Let's go see if we can get into some trouble around the shop. All right, guys, we're about an hour in on the test. I've been recoding a few different times. Here's our vinegar. It's actually starting to look lighter, but good Lord, if you guys could smell this tub, it is disgusting. Here's the muratic. Don't really know exactly what's going on there, but it's got like a, let's see if I can pick up. See that kind of glaze with like, almost looks like it's starting to freeze with those striations coming out of it. And then here's our pickle X. Looks like it's really starting to work right on that edge that I ground a little bit just to show you guys how garbage option four was. That's where we're at. We'll call this the midway point. I've still got the timer rolling. I'll let you guys know how this all works out, but please hit like, please subscribe, please leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see next. I've got a few more ideas in the bag, but it always helps to hear from you guys and let me know what you wanna see. I've got a confession to make, guys. I ran out of time yesterday, so the clock is now a full day later. I let the stuff soak overnight. It works a little bit better if you can actually submerge this stuff in the liquid, but as you guys try and recreate this, when you need to strip mill scale, I don't want you to have unrealistic expectations about time. Let's take a closer look at this. I've got some water right here. Let's rinse these things off and see exactly where we're at. The vinegar. Muratic acid. See all that mill scales bubbling up over there? That looks pretty good. Look at that mill scale, it's all just peeling away right there. And then our pickle X. Oh, we got some mill scale peeling on that side, but nothing really over here. I say we give this thing one more squirt and another hour. Oh my God, I can already smell it. <coughs> Whew, I had to hold my breath. That vinegar, I don't know what it is. It should be the least caustic in that bunch, but the smell coming off of it, wafting out of here. It's just like radiating out of this bucket of soup in here. It's no good, I don't like the vinegar. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Let me know what you guessed below. If you guys didn't guess earlier in the video, now's the time. You've got some good hints. You've seen how it's kind of progressing along. What do you guys think? Number one, vinegar. Number two, muriatic acid. Number three, pickle X 20. Put your number down in the comments below. Let's kind of make it a little game. If you guys do powder coat in your shop, I highly recommend a heated pressure washer. Hotsy, I think, is the best. Let's get the top going. The heat. Option number four is always necessary. What we're trying to do, however, is we're trying to save labor hours and consumable dollars in the cost of these sanding pads, flap discs, all the consumables you might wear out trying to get this mill scale off mechanically. So we used a chemical etching process to get this thing sped up, and you're gonna have to spend very little time with number four here if we did this right. Vinegar. So you see, we got the edges started to wear through where the mill scale was probably thinner and we had our heat affected zone from our laser cut, which sometimes gets underneath that mill scale and starts to flake it up. Looks like the vinegar got under here at the edges, but really did nothing for the middle here. Maybe thinned it out a little bit. Let's try muriatic acid. I can't say it's absolutely disappearing underneath the sandpaper, but it's happening really, really fast. Check this out. Let's try Pickle X 20. Look at this, nothing. Muratic acid, shiny. Pickle X 20. You guys probably can't smell this, but I can smell the paper burning on the sandpaper right now. This is really, really aggressive. A lot of friction, a lot of stock removal, but it's still not doing jack to this Pickle X 20. If you guys haven't figured it out already, the winner is... Muratic Acid, straight from the hardware store. 
good old reliable trusty stuff. It was fun to try out this Pickle X and actually I read the description a little bit closer after getting the bottle. I just ordered it because it said pickle on it and I know, you know, pickle and oiled steel is usually what we like to order. They just don't make it in this one inch thick sheet metal that we needed for this project for the laser. But I was looking for a better way because muriatic acid honestly is dangerous really for your eyes. The fumes are no good. You can kind of burn your lungs with it. And I was looking for some other alternative. This is actually supposed to convert the mill scale into a weldable surface after treatment, not necessarily strip off the mill scale. So it is a mill scale treatment. I haven't tested it. If you guys want to see that in a video next, we can do a untreated versus pickle X 20 treated mill scale for the TIG welding process and see if we still have the usual porosity, pinholes, inclusions, the crap and dirt that's left in that mill scale. Let's see if this actually does convert it, but that's a different video. I really, really hope that helped you guys out in your shop. Save some time, save some money, make some more profit. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow the channel. It's Hero Machine Co. I don't know, was that cheesy? It was kind of cheesy, but whatever, I'm cheesy.